Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for joining me today. We're going to do a little knife play today. I know I've got my Hunter Master knife here in my hand, and yeah, it looks pretty dope for a tier 6 knife. It also looks just like my tier 1 knife. And what I wanted to do today was kind of go through the different mods that you can add on to the knives and the kind of damage that they're going to do. Especially when we spec into that skill tree under agility. So if we look at that real quick, oh, that's fortitude, here's agility. We have the deep cuts spec. So it starts off with dull blade where you can make tier two knives, but you can, you can inflict up to three bleeding wounds on an enemy and then power attack inflicts two. So that means that your enemy starts bleeding out when you hit them with the power attack and you can add another one for three, which is really powerful early game. And I see I have 14 points available. What I will do is let's not spec into that at first. And I can show you how the knife will do a bleed effect even if you're not specced into it. Um, on we'll we'll spawn in a couple of uh, couple zombies real quick. The next one here is knife guy where you can inflict four bleeding wounds onto an enemy. So I've tested this before in a world and I jumped in and I took my first four points and I said, okay, I can do knife guy put everything into agility. So I did knife guy, two into deep cuts, and on insane mode, I'm bleeding out zombies with a bone knife, which is the most primitive type of knife. So that's what led me to believe. And watching some other folks' videos, I was like, knife is a pretty powerful weapon. If you can stab him a couple times and run away, watch him bleed out and get your XP. It's not a bad game. As we get in the fencer, you see five bleeding wounds. So this is knives or machetes too. So this also includes machetes, but we're not going to cover machetes in this video. I'm just more interested in the knife because it's an early game find. Yeah, you're not going to find a tier five, tier six, but you might find a tier one. And it's a game changer, especially if you're in a higher difficulty. Um, with this one, glancing blows. So even if you miss and hit with a glancing blow, you have a chance to cause one bleeding wound. And then the enemies run 15% slower. That's very important for that. Fencer 3 is really the, that's kind of like that finish line for, okay, we're good now because anything over that is just going to be gravy. Where now we can get six bleeding wounds at Swordsman. And power attack automatically inflicts four. And glancing blows have a 70% chance to call it one bleeding wound. So that goes up from, from 40 to 70. It's a 30% jump. But it's going to cost you seven agility points. And finally, with Samurai, I mean, you're just, you're the Ginsu knife of knife wielders. You can throw a knife at 100 yards and pop a balloon. Uh, you're the men. So you're basically a ninja at this point, or a Samurai. And where all of your glancing blows deal one bleeding wound automatically. A power attack gives you five. And you can stack your bleeding wounds up to seven. So you're just watching Zed's die out everywhere bleed out everywhere but you're not going to get that till end game because i believe that's going to take you the full lot of 10 agility points so you're going to need it at that point let's just do a regular knife i'm on warrior mode right now so this will vary by the various modes you're playing in i usually start in warrior anyway and uh you know i'm not going to play any games today nope i'm going to put them right in this little box you know what no I don't want these fuckers coming out and hitting me. So yeah, you go in there. Sometimes the game gets a little tricky with spawning these guys. I don't want 25. Just give me... Uh, let's do zombie biker feral. See if he can't kill me. 532. Okay. Let's get on the ground. God mode on. I want to see his XP. Oh! That didn't do much. Now remember, we are unmodded, but I am in God mode. So you see that's ticking off about one at a time. Now we've got... There's a bleed. So you can see the bleed coming off of him, right? You're not killing me, dude. So you can see that he's bleeding out, even though I don't have anything specced in the knife. And if I look at it... If you look at the knife... Regular attacks cause one bleeding wound. Power attack cause at least two. So I've hit him twice. And he's bleeding out, but not very quickly. But this is a zombie biker. Feral zombie biker, which I'm not going to see on day one. Even in 
uh, warrior mode. So let's increase this to our tier. Let's go. You know, let's go tier three. Tier three did about 20 damage. Does that come off as true? Tier three. I'm eight. 28 for power damage. Yeah, it looks right. He really needs to keep it down. Let's go up to tier five. Now tier five, we're talking. Now we're talking. Tier five's doing some damage. Still eight and 28. But if you look at the difference between the durability, it's the only thing that really goes up. When you look at the different knives, they all do the same damage. All right, eight, seven, eight. They're not really deviating too much, except your six for your tier one melee on uh, the on the tier one hunting knife. But as we go up, you'll see threes at eight twenty eight. Our four is actually a little down. Our five is as good as our three. So, I mean, I would take that for the additional modifications you can put in. And then our tier six is one point higher. So the knives don't deviate that greatly from one to the other. Let's just take him out with this. So that was quite the battle. I mean, he wasn't going to win because I'm in God mode. But he put up a good fight. Good job, buddy. Now I'll fillet you. So as we look at these mods, what's the best mod early game that we want for our knife? Fortifying Grip might be good if you're getting beaten up, especially if you're in a higher difficulty. That extra point could save you. So when we're considering which mods we want, and again, these are kind of in the order that I think you'll find them in the game. They're all going to give you, from what I can tell, the same, uh, the same amount of damage stamina cost generally right so because you have the ergonomic grip this one adds a third factor you're going to lower your stamina by one but it's going to increase block damage and power attack by one that's pretty nice fortifying that's just going to increase power attack and block damage structural brace again power attack block damage serrate it same deal same for the tempered blade power attack block damage and no assist for gigs do the radiated mod and the diamond tip all the same all giving us plus one the only thing that gives us that extra factor is the ergonomic grip it's going to lower stamina i think that's huge that's that's huge early game that's huge end game i think that's almost a must for your knife early on if you're going to use anything in there Make that the first one you use because not only is it giving you more block, block and power attack damage, not that we care about block, but more power attack is going to lower your stamina use. Let's go to tier three now. So with the tier three knife, we'll skip over tier two because tier three gives us the extra slot. So if we went ergonomic grip, note with the tier three, it's not dropping our, or it's not increasing our um, block damage. It's only increasing our power attack and our stamina cost. Now that might be because that number is capped for a knife. If we also include, what else can we use in that? The structural brace. Now we're getting melee plus one power attack. Now we've got four mods or four modifications to the stats for the, for the weapon. So structural is pretty good. Serrate it, same deal, plus one, plus two, plus one, minus one. Tempered, same numbers, and the same is going to be for the diamond tip. So you can't use two structural brace mods. You can't use ergonomic and that, but you or uh, and fortifying. Um, but you can use ergonomic and structural, but you get the same net result. So let's just go. Yeah, structural is just going to give us plus one on the blocks. So even if ergonomic reduces our stamina cost, like we said, I think that's almost the staple of the knife just because we want to we want to lower our stamina melee cost. I would say any of these other ones, you can't use fortifying and ergonomic. It won't let you, but you can use structural, serrated, tempered. So let's see, structural is going to give us 25% lower degradation. That's fine if you don't have repair kits. This might be the one to have. If you have a serrated, the 10% chance to cause a bleeding wound, wound, that's almost a must-have. Now we've increased our chance to cause a bleeding wound 
on a tier 3 knife, glancing and direct melee attack. That's going to be a big difference maker. So let's try that one out. Okay, so here's what we've done. I drank my forgetting elixir. I just decided to do that. I figured let's clear the playing field. No points. Nothing. Not even a book. Let's see what we're going to do. Raw attack, tier 3, two mods in it. Right, we've got the ergonomic grip mod and the serrated blade mod. Let's see what we're going to do against... Uh, Let's check it out against our boy, our biker boy. So get in there, pal of mine, and come over here and try to kill me. It always sounds like he's behind me. So would that do? Eh, about 22 points. Again, this is nothing spec. 20 with a power attack. He is bleeding out, though. We're getting about two points, three points a second. Hit him again. Yeah, and you know, we're doing the damage that the game says I'm supposed to be doing. That's fine. He is a biker, so this is going to be a, you know, you have to kite him. Hit him. Kite. And then hope it works out. Here, I'm going to take off God mode. See what kind of XP I'm doing. So, I mean, see what kind of stamina I'm using. I'm using a ton of stamina. I'm getting infected. I'm breaking bones. This is definitely a hit and run move with these guys. Especially the bikers, because they have the extra the extra hit points. Let's clear that stuff up and let's check it out. Let's just do another simpler, probably the type of zombies we'll see early on, like a bow. Who's kind of like the biggest pain in the butt. He's only got 150 hit points. I just don't like the way he looks. He needs to find a shirt that doesn't have all those rips in it. Yeah, we're doing a power attacks doing over 40 damage. Another one should do the trick. And again, that's zero spec. He was bleeding out at about two points, three points per second per tick. Pretty good with a tier three with two mods in it. Um, I definitely take that early game um, as a primary weapon. I feel pretty comfortable with that. So now let's try out tier five. That's got three modification slots. So again, we're going to stick with the ergonomic. We're going to do the serrated blade. And what's the next one going to give us? This will lower degradation again. Okay, now tier five is gonna come a little later game. You might have a diamond tip blade ready. This is gonna make it last forever. That's not bad, let's see what we get with that. We add a point to power attack with the diamond blade. We add a point with the structural brace. And again, we can't use fortifying obviously. And we can't use tempered because we already have a serrated blade mod on there. So let's just say we have a structural brace. So pretty basic stuff, stuff you'll find early game or mid game, I should say. So now we're looking at 10% less stamina again, 10% chance to cause a bleeding wound and a structural brace lowers degradation by 25%. Okay, I'll take it. Um, yeah, come on, businessman, Feral. Let's do this. Come here, dummy. 285, yeah, we're doing about 50 with a power attack. He's losing about three points a second or so. Yeah, he's not going to be long for the world if I keep doing power attacks. My regular attacks. Like I said, the, the knife's not going to do great regular attacks. And like we saw, the point differences are minuscule, right? So if I look at my five, I'm getting one plus one here, minus one. That's the same for my three. That's modded, of course. And you're looking at very small point differentials between the different knives. So let's try this again with a tier six. So in this tier six knife, I've put in what I consider to be the best mods for it. Ergonomic, brace, blade, rad remover. And let's see what kind of damage we're going to do to just a regular zombie um, with our plus two melee, plus five power. Uh, plus three block, which we don't really care about again, and the minus one stamina cost. So come on, Biker Feral, you are back into the game. Oh, I bit off a lot more than I could chew. Let's see, 532 hit points. My power attacks are doing about 50 damage to start. He's bleeding out. 
three, four seconds a tick. Pretty good. So he shouldn't be long for the world. And we'll return him to his resting place, which is right there. Come on, off with your head. Now remember, I have no points. So my chance to dismember or to behead him are, of course, way lower without specking something into agility. The last thing I think we could check is, can my tier 6 knife, fully modded, hold off a horde of angry zombies? Oh, my base is a little damaged too. But you know what? No better time to check than the present. Let's spawn 25. Let's spawn 25. Uh, I've got my mod in here. How about some feral radiated Arlene's? There she is. Come here, girl. There they come. Hey, guys. Let's get it on. Oh. Hey. Well, if they could stay on my base, it's the excellent design of my base that keeps you from getting up here. So yeah, so the knife's good. We're gonna run out of stamina pretty quickly. Um, the zombie Arlene's radiated are a tough variety. But it would take us all night, basically. She died out. I just turned off god mode so my stamina uses up a little bit quicker. The other thing to remember is I have 14 spec points I have not used. Here, we can just do this real quick. She's gonna beat the hell out of my base. All right, they're gonna beat up my base. I didn't do too bad. Sorry, ladies. So it's important to look at the agility tree for knives. We've got what they call deep cuts, which we went through already. So let's go through. Let's give ourselves six points in the deep cuts. So deep cuts, fencer. We're going to be able to inflict five bleeding wounds and a power attack inflicts four. Glancing blows have a 40% chance. So that's a good run of the mill attack. The other thing that goes well with knives is our one handed weapon um, beating the tar out of your opponents and a fur furious flurry of quick strikes. So let's tack that on to our knife spec as well, where sudden strikes going to give us. 17% speed increase with our knives. This is a good combination to use with knives. Deep cuts and flurry of blows. And let's go check it out. I don't think we're gonna do ferals this time. They really beat up my base. Let's do cheerleaders. Hey ladies. Hey, hello. There we go. And let's see what they do. We'll have God mode on, see what kind of damage we're doing to these guys now. Yeah, they're bleeding out almost immediately. Look at that. That was 44 damage on her. That one I took the leg off, so she won't be climbing the ladders anytime soon. They're losing two points a tick there. And I'm only... Oh, I'm only halfway smacked. I almost went through the dang wall. My base isn't really conducive for melee. Alright, here we go. We get out of god mode. So we know the kind of damage it's doing. Yeah, she was dead on two strikes. Of course, I do have a tier six knife. Let's lower it down. Let's use the three. Come on, ladies. What does it take? You guys are hitting the wrong part of the base. You guys are going to beat up my whole sandbox. I can't have it. My tier three is just taking off heads. It's doing a good 30 points of damage. And the ticks are three points... Yeah, three points for you. You're uglier than I thought. But I'm going to like that picture for the cover. All right. Don't get excited. All right, all right. We good? Stop the music. Oh, this one's still pissed. I took off her arm. Sorry, baby girl. So my tier 3 knife 
didn't really get damaged too much. Took them all out. Of course, I would have died had I not been in God mode. But the important thing is that they destroyed my base. So I think in summary, guys, it's safe to say that the tier 3 knife, tier 6 knife, the knife of your choice early on is going to be something that you could use through a horde knight if you wanted to. Um, assuming you have a repair kit just in case you need it for that tier 1. Tier 3 seems to be the sweet spot for me with those two mods um, that you get for a tier 3. Um, yeah, I think it's, this was a good test, you know. Let's, uh, and like I said, those numbers aren't going to fluctuate. So that tier 3 is doing as well for me as almost a tier 6 with just two mods in it. So this is my sweet spot. This is what I'm going to be using in my Insanity uh, recordings. Um, and like I've told my pals on Discord, if I can get through 10 episodes on Insanity using knives, I'm going to start releasing them. Otherwise, they won't see the light of day until I become a better player. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. There's the base. She needs to get repaired. If any of you guys are independent contractors, make sure you like and subscribe below. Click the notification bell. And I'll hire you to come here and upgrade my base for me. All right, guys. Until next time, thanks for watching. See ya.